In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Trainer Relay. Okay, so this is pretty easy. Uh, I have my uh, the app open on the Devices tab. I have a speed and cadence sensor paired. I have uh, virtual power enabled. This doesn't really matter in the setup. Um, and then all I'm going to do is click this button, Enable Trainer Relay. So what that does is it what it does is it takes the data up here and rebroadcasts it as an amp plus power meter. And the ID is dependent on your username, but it will stay consistent between uh, times you launch this. So why do this? What you can do is uh, turn on like your, your Garmin watch or head unit, and it will pick up the data here on your watch. Um, some people like it for virtual power to get their, to re, you know, broadcast the power data and get it recorded on their watch. Uh, a lot of people, if you have like a CompuTrainer paired or a Bluetooth um, power meter or something like that, will rebroadcast that data. You know, it's ever showing up here. Same with the Cyclops 300 or 400. We'll, we'll rebroadcast that for you. Uh, when you, when wouldn't you use it if you already had a power meter paired? So like if you're using a power tap, a cork or SRM, there's really no need because you're, you're getting the data anyways. Um, yeah, so that's it. Pretty simple.